What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is an evangelism clip from a while back. This is when uh, me and Lovato actually went to a sexy red concert. Very demonic rapper, very up and coming, promoting a lot of perversion, promoting a lot of just sexual immorality. So we went to this concert to expose all of that. And this is a clip that I never actually posted on Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. I just didn't get around to editing it. But this was a very um, good clip. I feel like this was a good seed that was planted and I just want to share it and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be reacting to this. I haven't watched this in a long time, so it's going to be a pretty fresh reaction for me. Let's see. Tanaya. Tanaya. All right. Y'all going to this concert? Yeah. Cool, cool. So I'm just curious what you guys think happens after death. Like, where do we go? Like, when we pass away, you know? I'm going to heaven. Heaven? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we get reincarnated to another animal or something. Okay. Then oh, we another go to person. The, the other side, you know, um, off of Princess in the Frog. So how the song go? <laughs> something, the other side. I forgot how it go on Princess and the Frog. Oh, the other side. Yeah. The other side. I had no idea what that meant. Okay. All right, so you said heaven. So that means there's a hell too, right? Yeah. So what if I was dying right now and I'm like, I'm so scared I'm going to go to hell. How do I get to heaven? What would you tell me? You better, um, God, please forgive me while you dying. Yeah, repent for your sins. Do you believe in repentance too? Yeah. Guys, I find it so funny how... People just be mixing beliefs, bro. Like she just said reincarnation and now she's saying repent to Jesus. Like, why do you have to do that if you're if you're getting reincarnated? It's so funny. You'll see this when you go evangelize, you will see the confusion that is everywhere. Like just people are just so so corrupted by confusion. It's everywhere. But yeah, let's get back into this. Sorry. But so, why would you think that you think you going to hell? Like, what did you do to think? Yeah, I'm just scared. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. You don't but even like you do nothing. You don't even like you do nothing. Like, you so, you going to heaven. You don't do nothing bad. So, <laughs> so you would say you'd be a good person then? Yeah, I can tell you a good person. Okay, well, so what no, makes... You don't know that. Looks like <laughs> no man is good. No man is good but God. Mark 10, 18. But, all right, so so you guys are good people? Are you guys good people? Yeah. So can I test I, it real quick? I'm, I'm wearing all white. I feel good. I can test it real quick? Have you guys ever told a lie? Yeah. Everybody told a lie before. Okay. And I Me too. Before. Yeah, I lied, before, I lied before too. You guys ever stole anything? Even small? Yeah. When yeah. I was little. Okay. <laughs> so we're lying thieves now, right? <laughs> we're lying thieves. So... The Bible says all liars deserve their part in the lake of fire. All liars. Okay, so, well, when I do something, I've been lying. Yeah, I've lied too. Yeah. So, so if God were to judge us by the Ten Commandments, will be will we be innocent or guilty? I'm going to be innocent. You, but you broke I, them. Because I, I, if I do something, I'd be like, God, please forgive me. I just well, lie. So, so yeah. the Bible says all have fallen short. We all, we all failed. We all failed the Ten Commandments. Everybody did some in the Bible, though. Everybody did some wrong in the Bible, and they still. Yeah. So, so what did God do for us to not have to go to the lake of fire? What did He do for us? He died on the cross. Yeah, He died on the cross. Amen. Amen. And so, what did that do? Like Jesus dying on the cross, what did that do for us? Because what if I died for you guys? What would that do for you guys? You died for me. They ain't gonna do nothing because you're not you're not Him. Yeah. yeah. So, so what did Jesus? What, why did Jesus dying matter? He repented for everybody's sins that's like on earth right now. Yeah. So he so, probably need to repent again. How bad the world is right now. All right. So this is gonna. I love seeing people who just need truth because they were brought up in church, obviously, or they heard a lot about Jesus, obviously, but they don't have the truth of what he did resting in their heart. They don't have the truth of the gospel in their mind, knowing that they can have a renewed mind every time that they dwell on what Jesus Christ did for them, on how he set them free. And he doesn't have to do it again. What he did is enough already. So that's what I'm about to get into explaining. And I just love to see that. 
change y'all's life, right? So the wages of sin is death, but the blood equals life. Like if you guys go to the hospital and you don't know what's wrong with you, they're gonna test your blood because life is in the blood. So Jesus, he never sinned one time. We've all sinned. Jesus never did it. He was tempted in every single way that we are tempted, but he prevailed. He never gave in to temptation. And what he did is he took the death sentence because the wages of sin is death. He took the death she sentence. She's going to hell. Now, now I see <laughs> That's crazy that's that she just walked word. out. For that's for real not funny that she just walked off on the good news like that. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I, I love how her friends took around, but man, the Bible says if they reject you or they rejected me, I'm straight preaching the gospel to her. So I hope her friends can come around to her, teach her the good news. But the Bible also says bad company corrupts good character. So if you have friends that are walking away from the gospel, you already know probably what to do. I would not recommend having friends like that. Personally. I think biblically. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray but for her. but yeah, this like that's just a distraction. This is important, guys. This is your life. So the wages of sin is death, blood equals life. Jesus, he never sinned one time. And since he took the death sentence and didn't deserve it, you guys can accept that free gift and go to heaven. Just when you believe in the fact that Jesus died for you guys out of his love. So does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me. I, I've been yeah. through stuff, so I, I know Amen. God is real. And, and so once we receive salvation, it, it's showing that we love God. And Jesus says, if you love me, obey my commandments. So what were his commandments? Do you know his commandments? He had a lot of commandments. What you mean, like, so, so you want to, because it's a, it's a loving relationship. So you don't want to do things that may displease someone you love, right? Yeah. So sin offends God. And once we are invited into that free gift of salvation, it, we, we want to show God that we're grateful for that. And that's because faith without works is dead. Like, if I told you guys the winning lottery ticket numbers, and you say, you guys would win a million dollars, right? Yeah. So if I'm like, guys, these are the winning lottery ticket numbers right here. Go buy a ticket. And you guys are like, cool. I'm going to go buy a ticket. But then you don't do it. Does that show you you believe me or not? No. Right, so that's why the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, if you confess out of your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart, you will be saved. So believing in your heart would be going and buying the ticket, a.k.a. the works. So I just wanted to leave you guys with that message, and I hope that that makes sense. Do you guys feel like there was a... You feel like a bliss man. Yeah, let, let's, let's pray real quick. Let's pray. Let's pray. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. I rebuke that. I didn't know how to respond to that because... Me touching you does nothing. Me touching you does absolutely nothing. I do not want to be idolized at all. I'm just a messenger, giving a good message, being a, a vessel. But that was kind of crazy. I did not know how to even respond to that. It shocked me. Yes, sir. All right, so. You guys started off though. All right, I will. Lord, thank you for these uh, these girls right here. I pray that you can just fall on them, Lord. Let your spirit fill their heart with your love. Let them be drawn away from the world in any way that they are um, offending you, God. I pray that they can turn around and have that godly sorrow that leads to repentance, Lord. Let them just know how valuable their soul is. Their soul is not worth anything that this world has to offer. Your word says, whoever gains the world may lose their soul. So I pray pray that their souls are secured in your hands, Father, and that you can bless them in a life full of love. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Right, you're welcome. Amen. Thank you. All right. Yeah. It's kind of sad seeing them still walk into the line to go to the concert. I probably should have spoke more on that, but I felt like this, the things I was saying should, should have been enough conviction for them to make that decision in their heart, because I didn't want to force that on them to you know, stop going to the concert. I don't want to put legalism on them, even though I can pretty much confidently say going to that concert is something you shouldn't be doing as a Christian. You shouldn't be experiencing the world for pleasure in that type of way, because like I just prayed for them, those who are uh, who gain the world might will lose their soul. And to be friends of the world is to be at enmity with God. So you're you're opposing God when you're friends with the world. So I hope that seed plants in their heart. I know that they will be able to look back on that message. Um, and if they're watching this, if any of you are watching this, Jesus, he's so good. I mean, you're, he's so faithful to forgive us 
All we need to do is confess our sin and he washes it away and have genuine sorrow for our sin and want desire to change and he washes it away. He throws away our sin. He forgets it. So that's the beauty of our Lord. That's the beauty of our God, Jesus Christ. And I pray that these girls can look at that moment, think about that moment whenever they're going through the storm, whenever they're going through the trial, and then they can reflect on the love that they received in that message because it was a loveful message with truth. Um, but I hope that that just plants a good seed. And let me know if you guys like this style. Do you like me reacting to these clips? Do you like me giving my extra insight, things I could have done better or things I should have added? Let me know if you like that. Leave a like, subscribe. If you feel led to support the ministry, we do a lot of traveling. I want to do more traveling. My cash app will be right here. If you feel led to donate, do not feel forced. But thank you guys. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next one.